Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing Phil Heath's 2013 version and Kevin Lavroni's 1998 version. So guys, I actually did a video comparison between Phil Heath and Kevin Lavroni. The versions I used before were Phil Heath's 2011 and Kevin Lavroni's 1995, but I wanted to use more mature, you could say, versions of Kevin Lavroni and Phil Heath where, you know, Kevin Lavroni in 1998 had a lot more muscle mass, and Phil Heath in 2013 still had a relatively tight midsection, but in my opinion had a better back and things like that. Right before the video starts, if you guys could take a quick second to like and subscribe, I'm only 150, actually less than 150 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers, the big 1K. So if you guys could help me out, it would really be much appreciated. And you know, without any further rambling, let's get into this video comparison. So starting off this video, of course, we have the front double bicep shot and take a look at the silhouette of Phil Heath. I mean, 2013, his lats were flaring out like crazy. He had that still, you know, tight midsection, really insane quads, good calves. You know, he has a very good silhouette. Kevin Lavroni too has a very good silhouette. I mean, his midsection looks a lot better than Phil's. The quads look very comparable. I mean, 1998 was no bad year for Kevin. His quads look phenomenal. The, you know, lat flare on Kevin as well, very nice. And the arms, you know, they don't have the separation of, let's say, a Phil Heath, but are still massive. I mean, wow. I would definitely give this pose to Phil Heath, though, as he has the condition. He has the silhouette. Of course, he's not winning in the midsection. And in my opinion, I think Kevin Lavroni is definitely more aesthetic. But, you know, Phil, he has the better quads, the better arms, the better lats, things like that. And, of course, the better condition. So he's going to take the first point in this comparison. Here is the front lat spread. Not really a good pose for Phil Heath throughout his career, but here in 2013, in my opinion, this is his best front lat spread. He fills out the pose perfectly, but you know, his narrow structure kind of holds him back in a shot like this, even in a year where he looks pretty good. He is winning in the quads, and he might even be winning in the condition, but taking a look at Kevin Lavroni, he is in condition as well. You can see striations in the pecs. You can see that his quads are diced and shredded to the bone. His lats fill out the shot really nicely as well, and his midsection looks so much better than Phil's. Overall, I would have to give this shot to Kevin just because of the overall flow and the structure. I mean, come on, he has the clavicle width advantage over Phil Heath. He looks a lot better as well, but Phil, you could definitely give this to him as he definitely has the muscularity advantage. I mean, he looks very, you know, compact and muscular, but come on, you know, Kevin just looks so good, so Kevin will win this pose. Here's the side chest pose, two of the best side chests in my opinion of all time. Both of them look extremely pleasing to the eye. I will tell you that I prefer Kevin Lavroni's aesthetics, but come on, Phil Heath has the muscularity for days. He does bend down a lot further than Kevin Lavroni here, and that is very evident in where their knees are placed, but come on guys, look at the chest itself on Phil Heath. Look at the condition in the arm, the side leg. Both men actually have very well conditioned side legs and very good side legs in terms of muscle mass for that matter. I mean, wow. Look at Kevin Lavroni. The side leg looks on point, but come on. Phil Heath has the better side leg, I would say, just by a little bit in this shot. His midsection looks good as well, and the chest, it's a no-brainer. It looks a lot more full. The shoulder looks a lot more conditioned, and overall, Phil Heath looks a lot more polished. But don't get me wrong. Kevin Lavroni, absolutely outstanding. He looks so aesthetic, and if you were basing this purely off of aesthetics, Kevin Lavroni Lavroni would win this shot easily. But come on, look at the far peck on Phil Heath. So, so conditioned. I'm going to give this shot to Phil Heath. So actually, guys, I have two shots of the side triceps, so we're going to start off here with this set, I guess you could say, and take a look at both men. Their triceps are insane. Now, the first thing that sticks out to me is actually, you know, pun intended, actually, is their midsections, and both of them appear to have kind of protruding midsections just a slight bit. I would say most definitely more for Phil Heath, and that is very noticeable, but Kevin Lavroni, guys, look at the lower abdominal area. Definitely not completely tight, but I will say that Kevin does have the better midsection overall. The tricep could go either way. Look at the shoulder for Phil Heath, much better than Kevin's. The chest looks very good for both men as well, and the side leg is debatable. Let's move on to the second shot. 
Here's the second set of pictures for both men where they present themselves just a little bit better. For Kevin Lavroni, this is actually the 1998 Night of Champions. And for Phil Heath, of course, it is still the 2013 Mr. Olympia. And take a look at both men here. It is so hard to not pick Kevin Lavroni right off the bat because of his presentation. But taking a closer look at Phil Heath, he has the shoulder advantage and he has the slight advantage in the tricep in terms of the conditioning. The side leg might even go to Phil Heath, but they are presenting their legs in different fashions. The midsection would go to Kevin, but you know, Phil, his midsection looks pretty good here. Ah, oh, this is really difficult to choose between them. I might even lean slightly towards Kevin Lavroni because of the aesthetics. I mean, he looks so good here, so good. Uh, so I'm going to go with Kevin, but I could definitely see this shot going either way. Let me know down in the comments below which one you would choose here. All right, guys, so in the rear lat spread, this is actually the first of the two back shots. Kevin Lavroni looks really good, and I am very impressed. He has the thickness and the density. He has the condition in those hamstrings, and overall, he looks really good. Not to mention, he has the width advantage over Phil Heath, which is very important in bodybuilding. Now, you know, Phil Heath, though, he has the detail. He has the condition. Look at the glutes and the hamstrings. So much better than Kevin's. The back itself, while it might not be as wide, it has the thickness and the detail for days. I think Phil Heath looks so polished in a shot like this and that lower body condition and size really, you know, makes up for the lack of width in the back itself. So I think Phil Heath will win this shot. Kevin Lavroni, he looks good, but you know, Phil Heath is starting to close the door from behind. Here is the rear double bicep shot, and Kevin Lavroni has appeared to lose all the thickness and density that he presented in the rear lat spread. I mean, where did it go, guys? Phil Heath is now light years ahead of Kevin Lavroni in the back department. And I would definitely say that, you know, Phil Heath is beating Kevin in the arms as well in terms of separation, bicep peak. He is beating him in the lower body as he has the better glutes and hamstrings and calves. And his back, of course, is so much better. You know, it's just it's just crazy how good Phil Heath is in the rear double bicep shot. And it's not like Kevin Lavroni is bad by any means. I mean, he looks really good in his own right. But come on, Phil Heath looks so good, even though he doesn't have the width. His amazing lower body and those amazing arms just really make up for that lack of width and the density that he presents and the graininess and the condition, all things that make up for the you know weak points that Phil Heath has. So overall, Phil Heath is going to shut the door on the back poses and we're going to move into the last two shots unfortunately guys this is what we have for the abs and thigh shot for kevin the at the 1998 mr olympia this was the closest picture i could find to an abs and thigh shot and he is not even flexing his midsection he's just showing off his quad phil heath is obviously hitting this conventionally and he looks rather good but i'm gonna treat you guys and i'm going to pull up a 1997 abs and thigh and we're gonna do the comparison with that picture in this conventional abs and thigh shot comparison, I would probably lean slightly towards Kevin Lavroni as he has the much more aesthetic midsection, the better V taper, and his quads are not that bad. Phil Heath, of course, dominates in that aspect. He has the much better quads in general and legs as we've seen from the front and the back but here his midsection just clearly is not as good as kevin's and his v taper is not as good either so yeah kevin Lavroni is going to get the point in the abs and thigh Wow, guys, take a look at both men in the most muscular shot. Very impressive stuff. Both men feature amazing arms, amazing delts. The midsection on Kevin definitely beats Phil Heath, but Phil Heath strikes back having the better quads. Now, Phil Heath also has the better chest and overall has slightly better muscularity and definition in the arms and in the chest. I would definitely give Phil Heath a slight advantage in this variant of the most muscular. Let's go to the crab to end the video. All right, so in this crab most muscular, I would give Phil Heath a very slight advantage over Kevin Lavroni as he presents a better chest and, you know, overall better arms, in my opinion, as they are more conditioned and, of course, the better legs. Now, Kevin Lavroni wins in the midsection, but he loses in the chest and in the leg department. So, yeah, Phil Heath gets a very small advantage in the most muscular for both shots, and that is going to conclude this comparison.
So that about does it for this comparison. Just to summarize the results, I had Phil Heath winning the front double, the side chest, the rear lat spread, and the rear double, and of course the most muscular, and I had Kevin Lavroni winning the front lat spread, the side tricep, and the abs and thigh shot, meaning that Phil Heath won this comparison 5-3. to three. This comparison definitely could have gone in a different direction, depending on what you prefer. You know, Phil Heath, he has the mass and the condition, and Kevin Lavroni has the aesthetics, and of course, he still does have mass. And Kevin Lavroni, he could have won shots like the front double and the most muscular, and, you know, Phil Heath could have won the abs and thigh shot, and he could have even won the side tricep. There's a lot of debate to be had, but, you know, for now, please let me know down below if you guys enjoyed, and also let me know down below what you thought of the video. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day or night. Thank you for watching.